what would be my ideal group for group Iron Man. Four man group, myself, Curtis, Sick Nerd, Mammal. That's it. Four man, good to go. I'd say Bodhi, but Bodhi doesn't want to do it with us. Bodhi wants to do it with uh, with an efficient group, an efficient team. You know, take those Iron Men and go at it, man. Group Iron Man comes out, he's playing. Uh, there's a lot of demand, or I think a lot of people want to see me, Curtis, Paul, Mammal, and Sick Nerd make a five man. I would rather go with a different team who are going to be like, I want to go with like Lake and shit. So like Bodhi, Alkin? No, he wants to do like, like I think like Hey Jace and you know, those dudes. I think Bodhi wants to do it with a team that's going to two tick everything all the way to freaking 99 everything. That's just too much for me, man. Definitely not Alkin, man. That's I'm, nice. I'm aware that we're past six but i really would like to um, answer the group iron man question if that's all right absolutely it's, it's a you. popular question mm. so um what's the answer anyway so <laughs> as you'll be aware the engine team's been working on the mobile thing for well over a year and that's been their top priority we've not been able to get we've not been able to ask them to do a whole lot of other stuff on the side while that's been going on that's Sure, we've launched mobile. That doesn't mean it's finished. Consider all the things people write in saying that are wrong with it or need changing about it or need fixing about it or aspect ratios on tablets aren't very good so things overlap with other things. These are things that, are, that do need solving. So the engine team's still on that kind of stuff. I think somewhere in the list is um, Bluetooth keyboards. Quite a popular one, that, because... Mm. I hate typing on a mobile device. <laughs> I imagine some of you do too. It means that the engine team is not free from mobile yet, which means that can they do everything they need for Group Iron Man? Which is quite a big backporting project. Well, we can't realistically expect them to be doing that at the same time. Is it worth starting an Iron Man right now or wait for Group Iron Man? I can't tell you how to play the game, man, or how you enjoy it, you know? I think it's a good idea to start Iron Man to get an idea of, you know, how to level an Iron Man more efficiently in anticipation of Group, so you could be better for your Group. We'd like Group Iron Man because you'd like Group Iron Man, and from our point of view, it's kind of harmless. I don't see a downside to it existing. So sure, we'd like it, but we can't commit to a time for it because we can't even commit to when they'd be able to start the work, never mind when they'd be able to finish it. And I don't like giving a date if we can't be pretty confident in it. That's where you get winter 2017 from, or indeed the 3rd of January. So um, do you know you want it, and we'd like to give it to you because why wouldn't we? The engine team are very aware that it is something, it is something we want and you guys want. And the good thing is, is that as and when it do get around to it, it also enables things like, um, I know a lot of the code that we use for the group Iron Man would also be relevant in clan systems yeah, I as well. Yeah, I quite know how some of that would work, but that seems to be their tech. That's what we've been told. I believe um, Hey, if that's what that, we to write Group Iron Man, I fit down, I'm jolly well going to do so. That, that also allows us to redesign things like the Duo Slayer system that uh, is pointless in our game right now. If we get this thing that Rock's describing, then we'd be able to make them persist over logout. And then it would be, then it'd be more worth putting features on. Because at the moment, if it became useful, then that logout thing would make it really annoying. Yeah, they're definitely aware it's a high priority for us. But remember, the engine team serve the business, not just our product. But they're definitely aware that it is something we want and we do keep trying to prod them to see what we can get, when we can get it. And especially when you've got a thing like, well, clans, which is where this is going, which ties into cross-platform chat stuff that are links into RS3. That's bigger than the usual engine stuff because it's got to happen to both products at the same time, coordinated. And they also have quite high priorities, which probably involves them getting a mobile version because their customers want one too. Just get out of my stream, mate, to be honest. That was without the day boots on. Bye. It's gonna be a big K. It's gonna be a big K, boys. All right, let's go die. <laughs> Guys, we all just got gnomed. Oh yeah, my inside DCs, I'm basically 100% dead, so. Here we go. Oh no, shut up. Why are they all here, man? Oh, I'm so dead, bro. I'm so dead. All right, anyways, the world goes offline, it's fine. Don't wanna steal skin? Screw steel skin. It's over, I'm already dead. You trash, man. Easy. Nice. Oh no, the bomb. Not this time, fella. And it's over for you, mate. A good run, my friend. Kind of hoping I get... Oh, nice. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> right, 49 more to go. No mistakes. Otherwise, I'm dead. Oh, 
Oh my god! I misclicked on fucking incredible reflexes. Oh my god. <sighs> you should expect to get into a bank fight. That's such a filler key that it's not even funny. That's these two, really fucking nice, but that's gonna make my bank value go up. I don't know how much they, those sell for. But what was this guy doing? He's killing, like I don't understand those fucking PKs that have a big key themselves. Go around and kill like fucking level six fishermen. I've got a lot of shit to sell. Yeah, man. That's just Ark 2.0, man. And I played Ark for 900 hours and it's a fantastic game. But that game is a bit of a cash grab, if you ask me. Like, they literally, like, didn't even get rid of the Ark menu from the title screen. You can still click on it. It's a forehead, mate. But it's probably still a lot of fun, honestly, because Ark was a lot of fun. So Atlas is probably a lot of fun as well. If the servers aren't garbage. But it is a bit of a cash grab. Okay. Okay, so this guy's waiting here. Now watch this. He's waiting here. He knows Mammal just died, so he's gonna come back to this little armor thing and fix his stuff. He knows after that, Mammal's gonna click on the bank. It's because of the vengeance delay? Okay. So he has a left click attack option. His his NPC shows up here. Now the moment he venges, which is right here. The guy venges and then clicks right out here. He now has an attack option because he's already standing outside technically. It just shows his NPCs uh, here still. It shows his character there still. He has the attack option because he's technically outside. So Mammo left clicks the bank to use it and ends up sculling on this guy. Who's right there. And because of the new mechanic where you can still attack someone when they go back into a bank or a safe zone for like 10 seconds or something, this dude's oh just able to continue oh whaling God. while the freaking accomplice. Look at the accomplice. You see this purple guy? Watch him close the door. Look at the perfect timing. Closes the door so he can't even like run away. Freaking accomplice, man. If there was one feature you could implement from a different game into old school, what would it be? For me, I think it has to, like, I'm a big RPG, like, JRPG fan and ARPGs as well. For me, it'd have to be something like um, Diablo's rifting system. Okay. Um, Diablo 3's rifting system, where it's, like, procedurally generated content. Almost like Dungeoneering, but not quite Dungeoneering. That would probably be the way I'd go. G? So, not, like, a gameplay on mechanics feature so much but just introduce more colors because <laughs> when you're making stuff in the the game has like a very limited range of colors to use so just add more fair we're going to do this before and it wasn't very popular but i do like the way that in games like the witcher you can have a new game plus which is like mm. you finish the game so for example you get 99 and everything and then you can just decide to start again on the same character but have like the same stuff and all that so Maybe prestige system although it is quite unpopular prestiging a skill but would you do it at 99 or 200 mil 99. I'd like a lobby. Mm. I know that's controversial because uh, I've seen it come up on these streams before. But the reason I'd like it is that um, the user flow of getting people into the game and between worlds and able to communicate with each other is not ideal. Like, really not ideal. We get requests for making you do things before you can log into the game for security. Currently can't do that because by the time we can run any code on you at all, you're inside the game. I just feel we'd be able to implement a few things that people have asked for and smooth out a few things that people don't, people just got used to being bad, like browsing world lists while chatting to friends. I think we'd be able to improve a lot of things that people would appreciate, and we wouldn't have to use the lobby in ways that players would resent. We, um, we wouldn't, for example, need to put fancy graphics in there that people don't need, bulking out your downloads. I think we could get something worth having in that regard. Of course, that's a rather large engine job. Can RuneScape run logging scripts on the, in their lobby? So actually, when you get into the logging, lo a lobby, you're basically in like a stasis where we can run login scripts and stuff. Truth be told, I don't know that much about RS3's lobby, but if I could have something that I've seen on other games and have it work the way I'd like it to, then I'd want one where we could. Even if we couldn't edit their save game profile, um, I think we could get some useful functionality out of it. You're in the game while you're looking at that thing. I'm very surprised players haven't been more in favour of us taking it out so that they log in and they're in the game immediately rather than with their screen blanked out and hoping nobody comes to attack them. I think we did disable it in a few high intensity situations, but showing you, you know, the info it's got about your membership, your messages in your inbox, message of the week advertising our most recent update, doing that in a lobby feels a lot more sensible to me than where it currently is, if we would do it at all. Oh, sorry, bro. For the people spamming Battle Royale, we have a get a battle royale mini game but just not a lot of people play it yeah and they know why yeah <laughs> we also have a list of things we'd like to improve about it mm. um of all the things we could undertake we ended up deciding to spend the uh, dev time on bounty hunter for 2018 rather than on well that one